What is going on guys? Money Webby here back again on Thursday. We got two games here again tonight. Last night was an absolute disaster with uh, just drafting scoring. It seemed like most of the plays just didn't work out. Kyrie Irving, absolute disaster of a game and he slowed down Giannis by him sucking because it turned into a blowout. Giannis was on pace for a monster line. Jalen Brown, pretty disappointing, but at least Marcus Morris carried his own. Uh, Steph Curry stepped up with Kevin Durant getting hurt, but he was really bad in the first half. And then Austin Rivers was a ghost in the game last night, didn't do anything. Uh, so that really screwed me over. But hopefully we can have a bounce back night here tonight. Uh, that celtics Bucks series has really had my number, and I couldn't recover from that one. But these games I've had a better read on so far. Even in game one, like I was on Millsap and Jimmy Butler before they kind of just took over both of their series. Also, I was on Jokic. Um, so those like three guys have pretty much been the money makers in this series. Um, so I'm going to continue to ride that wave and just hopefully um, it pays off again, even though their ownership will probably be pretty damn high. Um, it's still worth it, I think, if you can have the right pieces around them. So before we get going, if you could drop a like in the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Let's try to get over 80 likes in this one. And let's hop right into it, though. First guy up, I'm going to go with Damian Lillard. I think he's going to have a monster game here. Uh, you can't really hold down a score of his ability. Uh, for five straight games and he's been held down pretty much for four straight games back at home here in Portland um, in a, an environment where if he gets going then they're going to get behind him and he could easily catch fire I mean this was a guy that was absolute money in the bank against the Thunder and I don't know how the Nuggets are really making him struggle so much um, but I feel like he could kind of find an answer this game even the last last game he was able to score uh, pretty well in the first half, but he just really kind of fell apart in the third quarter. So if he can put together a complete game here and have one of those second halves where he goes off, um, I think he can have one of those big upside kind of games where he gets this over 50 drafting points. And if this game can just stay closer uh, than it was like the last um, two games or so where he was only able to get 32 and 36 minutes, um, I think he can get 40 plus minutes in this game in this elimination game. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. As my first guy, then I'm going to go to Jokic. I mean, there's no real reasoning um, behind this. Or, I mean, anything, uh, like any explanation. He's just been going off so much. This matchup is too good for him. He's cleaning up on the glass. Uh, he's just hit, hitting efficiently from the field with some easier kind of, of those kind of uh, floaters and then those layups down low. He's just pretty much too big and too, uh, just too smart in this matchup. He's just so gifted all over the place with his rebound, his passing, his decision making. He just ever does everything very well in this matchup. So I think it's gonna continue to go that way. I think he's gonna have another huge line here, um, with like a twenty seven, like fifteen and maybe ten or something like that. So monster line coming again here. I'm gonna go ahead and lock him in there as my second guy. Then I'm gonna go with Jimmy Butler, the only consistent offensive weapon on the seventy sixers team. Last four games, forty two, fifty one 54 and 56 drafting points so really getting it done um, and he's really been that kind of facilitator on the offense as well Ben Simmons has kind of been way too passive has like hit in the corner this whole entire series is putting up like eight shots a game so definitely not his kind of an environment it seems like so I think Jimmy Butler is gonna have to step up again here have a really big game um, and be that kind of facilitator again here filling it up with the assist and he also can fill it up with the rebounds as well as we saw from game two to game four. So again here at 8,000, salary has gone up a lot, but still can give us over 40 drafting points again here, I think, in this uh, game against Toronto where they really need him to step up in, a, in kind of one of those kind of um, not hostile environment, but just a really kind of drawn out game where the veterans that have the most experience like Jimmy Bower and have shown the most kind of poise are going to be the ones to step up. So I think Jimmy Bower is that kind of guy here. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my uh, third guy. And for my fourth guy, I'm going to go with Paul Millsap at 6,200 going against Portland. Just way too uh, much of a mismatch for Portland in this series, it seems like. Aminu is more of a guy that's, that kind of defends some more athletic guys, not people that kind of just bully their way into the rim and uh, put up like some like, stronger layups. Aminu has been better against those guys, like kind of um, like the Paul George, kind of more the athletic, uh, more finesse kind of guys. But it seems like the Millsap, the strength of him has been too much. So even actually switch 
um, with Ennis Cantor and Millsap, and that didn't work last game. Uh, it was kind of a disrespect to him as he went off for 24 points in 34 minutes. And I think he's going to do it again here, have another big game. Uh, he's just been really consistent this whole entire series. And I think the Trailblazers are going to have to live with Millsap and Jokic going off here again. I think they're going to have to hone in on the guys like Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, and try to slow down them. And Millsap and Jokic are still going to get their own. So I'm going to go ahead and lock them in there as my fourth guy. I'm going to go with Rodney Hood again, 3,700. Going against Denver, he's been the one kind of consistent wing player for the Trailblazers. So I think he should get some more run again here. Uh, maybe closer to 30 minutes, hopefully, for his DraftKings sake. But still, scoring very efficiently. The Harkless and the Mino duo haven't been really scoring enough for them. Uh, if they want to keep up in this game, they're going to need Rodney Hood's offense. And they're going to need him to hit some shots to spread the court for Damian Lillard. So 3,700 here. If Aminu and Harkless come out slow again, uh, they're going to turn to Rodney Hood early and often, I think, in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my fifth guy. For my final piece, this is going to be my dart throw, but Mike Scott at 2,700 showed some life in the last game. He was dealing with an injury at the beginning of this series, so we never really got in a groove here in this series. Uh, but now back at home, the role players, like I said, they typically step up for you at home. And Mike Scott is a role player that can really catch fire if he sees a few falls. So James Ennis was the one kind of being that sixth man for the 76ers um, before, I mean, well, after Mike Scott got hurt. But now that Mike Scott is back, Ennis has kind of been fading the last uh, game, the last game or so. So Mike Scott could enter that rotation back as the sixth man and get 20 plus minutes. And if he can do his do his thing like he did against the Nets, uh, then he can be a really big piece with them. I think Mike Scott hit the the ceiling kind of three in this game against Brooklyn in game four. Uh, had 19 drafting points, and he also had 22 in that series as well. So he'll be an interesting piece here, especially if uh, this game kind of gets out of hand in favor of one of the two teams. It'll probably get some extra run in that case as well. Um, so it should be an interesting play at 2700 I mean, the salary is like as cheap as it can get. And he does have the ability to put up 15 and 20 drafting points. So it's really just a dart throw with the ability of uh, scoring if he can get some extra runs. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my final guy. And that gets us up to 5150 remaining per player. Even though you have uh, Damian Lower, Jimmy Butler, Jokic, and Millsap. Four guys that could put up 40 plus drafting points. Rodney Hood could return a lot of value if he gets going. And Mike Scott is really the key piece on the slate. I'm banking on him stepping up and uh, giving us some solid production. So before you leave, go ahead and drop a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, 80 plus likes, like I said, would be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're about like 30 subs away from 8,000 subscribers. So I'm really trying to hit that. If we can hit that, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Um, but thanks for tuning in to the video. Good luck here tonight, and we'll see you back here again next time.